Zechariah is a figure in the Bible and the Quran. In the Bible, he is the father of John the Baptist, a priest of the sons of Aaron, a prophet in Luke chapter 1 verses 67 to 79, and the husband of Elizabeth who is a relative, Luke chapter 1 verse 36, of Mary the mother of Jesus. Biblical account. According to the Gospel of Luke, during the reign of King Herod, there was a certain priest named Zechariah of the course of Abia, whose wife Elizabeth was also of the priestly family of Aaron. The evangelist states that both the parents were righteous before God, since they were blameless in observing the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. When the events related in Luke began, their marriage was still childless because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. The duties at the temple in Jerusalem alternated between each of the family lines that had descended from those appointed by King David. Luke states that during the week when it was the duty of Zechariah's family line to serve at the temple of the Lord, the lot for performing the incense offering had fallen to Zechariah. The Gospel of Luke states that while Zechariah ministered at the altar of incense, an angel of the Lord appeared and announced to him that his wife would give birth to a son, whom he was to name John, and that this son would be the forerunner of the Lord. Citing their advanced age, Zechariah asked with disbelief for a sign whereby he would know the truth of this prophecy. In reply, the angel identified himself as Gabriel, sent especially by God to make this announcement, and added that because of Zechariah's doubt he would be struck dumb in, not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed. Consequently, when he went out to the waiting worshippers in the temple's outer courts, he was unable to speak the customary blessing. After returning to his house in Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, his wife Elizabeth conceived. After Elizabeth completed her fifth month of pregnancy, her relative Mary was visited by the same angel, Gabriel, overshadowed by the Holy Ghost and, though still her virgin, became pregnant with Jesus. Mary then traveled to visit her relative Elizabeth, having been told by the angel that Elizabeth was in her sixth month of pregnancy Mary remained about three months before she returned to her own house. Elizabeth gave birth, and on the eighth day, when their son was to be circumcised according to the commandment, her neighbors and relatives assumed that he was to be named after his father. Elizabeth, however, insisted that his name was to be John, so the family then questioned her husband. As soon as Zechariah had written on a writing table, his name is John, he regained the power of speech, and blessed the Lord God of Israel, with a prophecy known to some as the Benedictus. The child grew up and waxed strong in spirit, but remained in the deserts of Judea until he assumed the ministry that was to earn him the name of John the Baptist. Other Christian Traditions Oregon suggested that the Zechariah mentioned in Matthew chapter 23 verse 35 as having been killed between the temple and the altar may be the father of John the Baptist. Orthodox Christian tradition recounts that, at the time of the massacre of the innocents, when King Herod ordered the slaughter of all males under the age of two in an attempt to prevent the prophesied Messiah from coming to Israel, Zechariah refused to divulge the whereabouts of his son, and he was therefore murdered by Herod's soldiers. This is also recorded in the infancy Gospel of James, an apocryphal work from the second century. The Roman Catholic Church commemorates him as a saint, along with Elizabeth, on September 23rd. He is also venerated as a prophet in the calendar of saints of the Lutheran Church on September 5th. The Eastern Orthodox Church also celebrates the feast day of Zechariah on September 5th together with Elizabeth, who is considered a matriarch. Zechariah and Elizabeth are invoked in several prayers during the Orthodox mystery of crowning, as the priest blesses the newly married couple, saying, Thou who didst, accept Zechariah and Elizabeth, and didst make their offspring the forerunner, and, bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst Zechariah and Elizabeth.
In the Greek Orthodox calendar, Zechariah and Elizabeth are also commemorated on June 24. Armenians believe that the Gansazar Monastery in Nagorno-Karabakh, Azerbaijan contains relics of Zechariah. However, his relics were also kept in the Great Church of Constantinople, where they were brought by the Praefect to Serbiasis on September 4, 415. In 2003, a 4th century inscription on the so called Tomb of Absalom, a 1st century monument in Jerusalem, was deciphered as This is the tomb of Zechariah, the martyr, the holy priest the father of John. This suggests to some scholars that it is the burial place of Zechariah the father of John the Baptist. Professor Gideon Furster at the Hebrew University states that the inscription tallies with a 6th century Christian text stating that Zechariah was buried with Simon the Elder and James the brother of Jesus, and believes that both are authentic. What makes the theory less plausible is the fact that the tomb is three centuries older than the Byzantine inscriptions. That a tomb with just two burial benches is unlikely to be used for three burials. As well as the fact that the identification of the tomb has repeatedly changed during its history. In Islam, Zechariah is also a prophet in Islam, and is mentioned in the Quran. Muslims also believe Zechariah to have been the guardian of Mary, mother of Jesus, and they believe Zechariah to have been the father of John the Baptist. Zechariah is also believed by some Muslims to have been a martyr. An old tradition narrates that Zechariah was sawed in half, in a death which resembles that attributed to Isaiah in Lives of the Prophets. Zechariah was a righteous priest and prophet of God whose office was in the Temple of Prayer in Jerusalem. He would frequently be in charge of managing the services of the Temple and he would always remain steadfast in prayer to God. As he reached his old age, Zechariah began to worry over who would continue the legacy of preaching the message of God after his death and who would carry on the daily services of the Temple after him. Zechariah started to pray to God for a son. The praying for the birth of an offspring was not merely out of the desire for a child. He prayed both for himself and for the public. They needed a messenger, a man of God who would work in the service of the Lord after Zechariah. Zechariah had character and virtue and he wanted to transfer this to his spiritual heir as his most precious possession. His dream was to restore the household to the posterity of the patriarch Jacob and to make sure the message of God was renewed for Israel, as the Quran recounts, and said, O oh my Lord, my bones decay, my head is white and hoary, yet in calling you, O oh Lord, I have never been deprived. But I fear my relatives after me, and my wife is barren. So grant me a successor of your own who will be heir to me, and heir to the house of Jacob, and make him obedient to you. O Lord, Quran, Surah 19, Ayat 4-6 As a gift from God, Zechariah was given a son by the name of John, a name specially chosen for this child alone. Muslim tradition narrates that Zechariah was 92 years old when he was told of John's birth. In accordance with Zechariah's prayer, God made John renew the message of God, which had been corrupted and lost by the Israelites. As the Quran says, O Zechariah, we give you good news of a son by the name of John. To none have we attributed that name before. How can I have a son, O Lord? He said, When my wife is barren and I am old and decrepit, answered, Thus will it be. Your Lord said, This is easy for me, for when I brought you into being you were nothing, said, O Lord, give me a sign, your sign, he answered, shall be that you shall speak to no man for three days, although you are not dumb, Quran. Surah 19, Ayat 7-10 According to the Quran, Zechariah was the guardian of Mary, the mother of Jesus. The Quran states, Behold, a woman of Imran said, O oh my Lord, I do dedicate unto you what is in my womb for your special service, so accept this of me, for you hear all and know all things. And when she had given birth to the child, she said, O oh Lord, I have delivered but a girl, but God knew best what she had delivered. A boy could not be as that girl was, I have named her Mary, and I give her into your keeping. 
preserve her and her children from Satan, the rejected, her Lord accepted her graciously, and she grew up with excellence, and was given into the care of Zachariah. Whenever Zachariah came to see her in the chamber, he found her provided with food, and he asked, Where has this come from, O oh Mary? And she said, from God, who gives food in abundance to whomsoever he will. Quran, Surah 3, Ayat 35-37 Muslim theology maintains that Zechariah, along with John the Baptist and Jesus, ushered in a new era of prophets, all of whom came from the priestly descent of Amram, the father of the prophet Aaron. The fact that, of all the priests, it was Zechariah who was given the duty of keeping care of Mary shows his status as a pious man. Zechariah is frequently praised in the Quran as a prophet of God and righteous man. One such appraisal is in Surah Al-Anam, and Zechariah and John, and Jesus and Elias, all in the ranks of the righteous. Quran, Surah 6 Ayur 85 Quran translator Abdullah Yusuf Ali offers commentary on this one line, suggesting that these particular prophets make a spiritual connection with one another. He points out that John the Baptist was a relative of Jesus, while Elijah was one who was present at the transfiguration of Jesus on the mount, as mentioned in the New Testament. Zechariah, meanwhile, through marriage, was the uncle of Jesus and his son John the Baptist was referred to as Elijah in the New Testament.